Hi everyone, welcome to Two for Tuesday, where I take one ingredient and use it for two reasons. My name is Sarah Manoresi, and welcome to my kitchen. This week, um, we are going to be working with something that probably a lot of us don't incorporate into our regular eating routine, and that's collard greens. And I think the reason for that is, is because we think of collard greens kind of like the same thing as like dandelion greens or something that's super bitter and um which is great if you're act looking for that kind of flavor but most of us at least for me i don't particularly like bitter but collard greens really especially when they're in season aren't bitter at all they're actually a really nice vehicle and can be substituted for so many different things so i'm going to really show you how to make a quick wrap by using them um i know i'm trying to only have one carb with my meals it is uh, the beginning of the year, but it doesn't really matter what time of year it is. If you're just um, going gluten free or just really trying to see ways to cut out bread from your diet um, and substitute with something else, this is a really great quick recipe. And honestly, you can use this technique with pretty much any kind of filling. Um, I've made tuna salad with it where I take a can of tuna fish, add in a teaspoon of mayonnaise, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, you really don't need much. Um, celery, carrots, um, a little bit of sprouts for some crunch. And I might even sometimes um, add in cucumber and maybe a little bit of extra lettuce. Um, I've made that as a filling. Um, I'm gonna show you a filling that I have today. But the important thing is that, that we're gonna use the, the collard green, which is you wanna get the big ones, you don't wanna get the ones that are already cut up, obviously. We're gonna use this as our wrap. And you're gonna flip it over like so. I'm gonna move that out of the way for a minute. And you're gonna cut off the tough bottom. And then I have a paring knife here, but feel free to use whatever kind of knife you want. I just feel safer with a paring knife. I'm gonna hold down at the bottom here. And you can tell that it's thicker. The stem is a lot thicker in its parts. And we're just gonna really cut that down. So it lies more flat, so it's easier to roll up. So we're just gonna cut some of that out. I have more of a strength cutting towards me, but I'm really working on that knife skill because really you shouldn't do that in case if you have an uh-oh moment and cut your finger off or a bit of skin or, or whatnot. Um, generally though, when I do cut towards me, I do have a metal glove on my hand so I don't cut myself and kill myself at the same process. I'm just gonna cut off this little tough part here. And it's super easy. I have, I'm gonna put that to the side. I have about half a cup of brown rice and I have a turkey burger here. Now, like I said, you can do whatever filling you want. So if you have a veggie burger, um, any kind of chicken, turkey, this is gonna work great with any of those. I'm just gonna cut it up into bite-sized pieces, maybe. Um, I did this on the panini press, so it only took about five minutes to cook all the way through. You want to have an internal temperature of 165 degrees just to uh, be on the safe side. Um, you want to cook it shorter or longer than that? That's up to you. That's just the recommended thing. Um, and I just love making them. You can also make them in the microwave. And Butterball actually makes one that doesn't have any extra spices or junk in it. It's pretty much just the turkey burger and that way it's still it's seasoned but it's not like have extra seasoning in it so you can mix it with a whole bunch of stuff so I'm gonna put that in the bowl too and then my favorite thing is to use about a teaspoon of pesto now pesto is generally herbs with olive oil parmesan cheese and pine nuts um, not always, sometimes they use walnuts, sometimes they use, you know, they get fancy. But a typical one is about that. Yes, you can make your own, but I prefer the store-bought kind just for the convenience. And then you mix it all together. Um, I heated the, the brown rice, reheated, it's from dinner the other night. Um, and so it's warm, so it helps that really incorporate the pesto in really nicely. Um, so then we have our filling. And you can do this one or two ways. You can cut this in half or you can make just a giant one. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it does kind of make a mess um, when you bite into it. It's like eating to a Chipotle burrito. You know, you're gonna get a little messy. If you don't like that idea of a mess, cut this up and make it into salad instead, into shredded uh, uh, collard greens. And then you have a nice little salad that's the same thing. Sometimes I'll make this and then I'll cut this up and um, 
break it down a little bit in a pan with a, just a hint of olive oil just so it doesn't stick um, and warm it up and kind of break it down a little bit and that makes a really nice meal as well and then I'm just gonna stick it in the middle and this is a new skill for me I'm not gonna lie but I've been really enjoying it the past couple weeks that I've been giving it a shot and you're gonna roll it just like you would a burrito or whatever way gets it into your mouth the best way so for me that's in half and then the sides and then there you go and you can even fold the bottom if the top is falling apart so it's crazy good and that wasn't done very gracefully or well but that's okay you kind of get the point you got to practice a little bit and like I said we're all learning new things this is a new technique for me and I'm just not good at rolling burritos in the first place I like taco salads for a reason but um it's really super good and if you just want to have collard greens on their own, so easy. Just chop off about half an onion. Um, put in, you're going to take out the main stem here and you're going to chop that up. And with the onion, you're going to put that together and let them become soft. You're going to add in just a little bit, a pinch of red hot uh, pepper flakes and season with salt and pepper. Then you're going to add in the leaves. You're going to cut those into strips or into bite sized pieces. And you're going to let that wilt down and it's a fabulous side. Um, completely vegetarian um, so you don't have to do ham or anything like that in it um, unless you want to um, and those are just some great ways that I really like it it's really crunchy it holds up well if you can fold it correctly like I said oh, I'll get there one day um, and it doesn't really rip or tear too badly um, especially when you're eating it I really like it I like that I don't have to have um, a bread wrap or anything like that when I'm enjoying my brown rice and it makes great meals on the go. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, recipe and I hope you use it uh, with your family. Um, like I said, all you really need is just a couple of ingredients, throw it in together, make a salad and put it in the middle and it's a great snack or a great meal in itself. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!